When the sun shines, solar energy is created. But what happens when there's no sun? Centrica, an energy services and solutions company, is working with clients to help them decarbonize and to reach their net zero goals, as well as looking into solar storage solutions for the future. This recently opened solar farm at the Defence School of Transport in East Yorkshire took just 12 weeks to build, but will influence defence estate thinking for years to come. This collaboration with Centrica is the Army's first solar farm project, an important first step towards its net zero carbon future. So here we have the isolator for the system. It's been a pleasure working with them, to be honest. The Army's committed to 76 um, solar sites nationally. We're a hugely diverse estate. We have offices, commercial, uh, domestic, all sorts of different sorts of, uh, of uses for our infrastructure nationally. So we need to have a national footprint when it comes to energy generation and decarbonisation. We've tried to be very much a fast follower in the Army with technologies that are proven, and this is an example of that. So, yeah, it's very much part of the energy mix. As well as power for the School of Transport, the panels feed the national grid with the kind of clean green electricity reaching net zero will depend on. I think this is a really fantastic site. It's a, it's a great example of how the public sector can show real leadership in uh, the transition to net zero to decarbonise. We're working with hospitals, we're working with schools, we're working with universities, as well as many industrial companies to do something very similar to what's happened here. So we can go after the much bigger volumes that we need to, to hit our net zero targets. But increasing reliance on renewables means finding new ways to store energy. So the lights stay on when the sun isn't shining. And most of that storage is coming through battery at the moment, but it's not just batteries. We think hydrogen also has an important role to play in that, store, in that form of uh, power storage. And we think when there's too much power on the grid, once we have the ability to store that hydrogen, we can convert that renewable power into hydrogen and then to be used for transport, for heating or, or power generation. For the last 35 years, the Easington Gas Terminal has connected the East Yorkshire coast to the UK's largest gas storage site, known as the Rough Reservoir. Harnessing existing skills and infrastructure, Centrico wants to convert it into the UK's biggest hydrogen depository. The project would be a world first. We'll take gas from the grid and then we'll inject it 18 miles offshore to the rough reservoir which sits three kilometres below the seabed. And then when we're ready to take gas back out of the store, we reverse that process, bring gas back from the offshore reservoir through a pipeline, back through our terminal and back onto the national grid. All of the independent uh, analysis show that the scale of hydrogen storage will be 12 to potentially 51 terawatt hours. Rough can provide nine terawatt hours of that. And to provide some context, that nine terawatt hours storage capacity is enough to heat a million homes for up to a year. But investment on this scale will require government support. And with decommissioning decisions having to be made soon, the clock is already ticking. It will cost hundreds of millions of pounds more to decommission first, then redevelopment, redevelop the assets. So we have a shovel ready project here that can help level up in the area. We can create thousands of jobs during the construction period and potentially 300 to 400 high quality long term jobs at the operation. This infrastructure has been around for 35 years, so there's a skill set within this organisation that. Um, you can't lose and you'll need that for the, the transition and continued storage of hydrogen. And is there excitement about the potential of this project? Yeah, in the local area there is and within this um, business, yeah. I think to be renewable is no longer something that you can be, I think it's something that we have to be. But I think as Centrica, because we've got the ability to work with our corporate customers and with residential customers and public sector, we can help them through the renewable transition to, 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 to install panels like this on their sites. But also we're looking to long term solutions for hydrogen because we think that's going to play an exciting and important part in the energy system. The thing about decarbonisation is that we are networked with everyone else, whether it's locally or globally, and we're very interested in finding out what the future is going to look like so we can be committed as a fast follower into the future.